Christmas. It is Thursday, the 11th of January, 2001. Denise and I's penultimate show. I'm Johnny Vaughan. This is, of course... Denise Van Out. <laughs> 26 hours from now, uh, Denise and I will no longer be your big prep presenters. How does that make you feel, Dan? Well, same as you, I expect, Johnny. <laughs> No, but, Johnny, how do you really feel? Really? Really, 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 well, really. Well, a bit like this. <laughs> Are we all right this morning, crew? Yeah! And why do you feel like that, Johnny? Because I've seen what's coming up on today's show. <laughs> Denise is going to see if I can put a name to the face of a big breakfast blast from the past who claims that they met me. Wow. I've met Johnny Ball. All right, Johnny Ball. Oh, getting worse every day. But this is my last I'm Johnny Ball. Right? Johnny Ball. No, I'm Johnny Ball. I'm Johnny Ball. I'm Johnny Ball. Who is? Johnny Ball. <laughs> imagine everybody at home I'm now Johnny going, Ball. no, I'm Johnny Ball. I'm so good. Yes, imagine them. And also at 7.15 this morning, we'll be helping the Millennium Dome organisers with their massive closing down sales by putting a section of their heirlooms under the hammer right here. <laughs> what? Nothing. No, I wasn't. I don't know. It was just general hilarity. <laughs> I'm just feeling in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> What's the funny? Nothing's funny. Nothing's okay. funny is happening. Are you pulling faces behind no, my back? No, I wasn't back? pulling faces. Was I pulling faces behind my back? I wasn't pulling faces behind your back. You can have a look at it. We'll, we'll, we'll rewind it. You can have see you been it. Have touching yourself? No, I wasn't touching. Yeah. I'm playing myself. No. By putting a selection of their heirlooms under the hammer right here on the show. At 7.20. Can I just say, Johnny? Yes. Have a good show. Have a good show. <laughs> can I say at 7.20 we're paying tribute to the wonderful Lisa Tarp. Yay! Yay! Uh, we'll be paying tribute to her. Uh, she's, she's a one blockbuster. Of, she's, she's, a, she's a blockbuster. She's one of my angels. She's in a big drama coming up. Uh, she's got another thing coming up. She's remarkable, and you'll be seeing the best of her a little bit later on. <laughs> Plus, we've got the younger half of the dynamic duo. What's oh, his Chris name? Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Oh! Stan, no, no, I've never no, seen no, you excited no, 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 about no, no, a guest no, no. before. Yeah, Robin. <laughs> 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 Great stuff, mate. Uh, here in the house to give us all Vertigo tales of mountaineering action movie Vertical Limit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Chris O'Donnell, we'll major Hollywood seat. star yeah. in the house. How are you this morning, Don? Honestly, you've been Very ill. well. You were a bit ill last night, though, weren't you? You've had an hour's sleep, you were saying. This yes, morning. but I'm all right. Have you got per... that sickness bug thingy? Yes, but we don't talk about sickness on TV, do we? We certainly don't. No, we don't. No. Tankity tank, tank, tank. Tankity tank, tank, tank. Tankity tank, 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 tank. All the way to Jasmine Lowson with the big breakfast news. Tankity tank, tank. Good morning, these are the main stories on Thursday the 11th of January. The 6-7 get off lightly, there's grave concern for Margaret, and Clinton swoops for the Eagles. Don't be surprised if the world's worst known pushers of paedophilia are jailed next month for just three years. It's the maximum sentence under current law. The last of the seven, computer geek Gavin Seegers from Kent, was convicted yesterday following a five-year international police operation. The contribution of the so-called Wonderland Club to the magic of the net was three quarters of a million images of children being sexually abused. These are children as young as a few months old being abused in the most disgusting ways imaginable. In fact, to be perfectly honest, honest most of us couldn't imagine how true children could be treated around the world in this way. Princess Margaret's health has deteriorated. Sources described her condition as serious and significant. She was rushed to hospital, suffering a severe loss of appetite. Her son, Lord Linley, visited the princess, who's thought to have suffered a second stroke before Christmas. Michael Jackson's to give the lowdown on love and family at the Oxford Union. The twice-married member of arguably the world's second most dysfunctional family is slated to speak on the 6th of March. Sadly, our very own moonwalker Jarvis Cocker is not expected to attend. Politicians are often accused of monkeying around with power. In India, the monkeys are the ones causing the problems. Thousands have besieged the New Delhi Parliament building, stealing food and ripping up official documents. And having Hindu sacred status means no one can kill or trap them. Here's the sport. <laughs> Liverpool blew chances galore in their Worthington Cup semi-final at Crystal Palace. Owen and co were given a finishing lesson by Andreas Rubens and Quentin Morrison before Smitzer finally gave the Reds a goal to take to the second leg. It finished 2-1. Alex Ferguson's determined that agents will not be the driving force in contract negotiations with his top players. David Beckham's reportedly said that he'll leave if his rumoured 100,000 a week demands aren't met. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house with the weather. Thanks.